one of the biggest things about being a carer is that you there is a lot of unknowns. The biggest one is it's an indeterminate amount of time that you're going to be a carer for. You, it might be many, many years, or it might be months. My grandfather had Alzheimer's and start to finish was 15 to 20 years. The advantage of that is that I know how how dad's Alzheimer's would progress, but I did know that I was undertaking being a carer for, for many years. He wasn't ready for care. Uh, he, was still, he was still very active. He still had uh, capacity to look after himself to some degree in the beginning. And it would have been incredibly hard on him if he'd gone in early. Um, now he's he's reached the stage where he can accept it and we do uh, we're in what we call the well, what I call the transition phase where he does has a little bit of respite and he has a little bit of time on the farm and we're just gradually moving him to the place to the time that his res residential care home which is down the end of our road will be his forever home dad's a um, dad and I have always worked the farm and gradually as his progress through his condition the amount of work he he can do has uh, has decreased but uh, if anyone is on a farm or has worked on a farm you'll know that opening gates is a, is a massive thing so uh, dad and I will jump in the farm car and um, his job is to open all the gates there's some jobs on the farm that he'll help out with other times he's uh, I'll just keep him occupied while I'm doing um, if I'm fencing he can't help up too much but yeah, we would walk an average of about three to five k a day on the farm, which is quite a lot. Dad's very physically capable. Uh, when we move the cows, Dad calls the cows. My, my father has always been an outdoor adventurer. When there were thunderstorms in my childhood, he used to drive us to the top of a hill so we could see the lightning. Uh, he's physically very capable and very fit working on the farm. So we've always done, we've always done trips with him and right up till reasonably recently, earlier this year, we, my, myself and my, my two brothers, Aidan and, and Scott, we took Dad down the Clarence River. So we did a four day rafting trip down the Clarence with one day of training. And that was fantastic. It's grade three. We guided our own raft. I used to be a, I used to represent New Zealand in freestyle kayaking, so I have a lot of experience in, in water, and that enabled us to guide our own raft. Uh, and Dad, he, he loved it. His instincts are, are very good. It was an incredibly remote, beautiful trip. Yeah, and at no point did I feel like Dad wasn't capable of, of anything on that trip. Uh, another thing we did recently in the late 80s, when I was young, a young teenager, Dad was trying to get us to go to the U2 concert. I think they came in 1988, and for whatever reason, we didn't. We didn't go. U2 came to New Zealand in late 2019, and so I thought it'd be nice to tick off the, the a U2 concert uh, for Dad. Uh, so he was actually in respite at the residential care facility down the bottom of the road at the time. So I drove down and picked Dad up at five o'clock in the afternoon and drove down to Auckland and went to the U2 concert. He loves U2 and knows all the words to all the songs. Uh, it was just beautiful moments. I mean, at one point he just started dancing. Yeah, fantastic trip. And we, uh, I dropped him back off at the residential for care facility at I think quarter to one in the morning and we bought him a hat and gave him a YouTube book so when he woke up in the morning he could remember but interestingly although his memory is not great on a lot of things still to this day if you ask him about the YouTube concert he can remember almost all of it so he must have had a good time. Another trip we did was a trip up onto the Southern Alps, again with my uh, brother Zayden and Scotty, we went to a place called Lake Greeny, incredibly remote lake, two days tramp up just south of, of Haas Pass. Yeah, so we tramped up for two days and camped by a small lake surrounded by, by tussock and snow-capped mountains. And I think a lot of people assume because you have mental 
uh, deterioration um, like Alzheimer's that you are not physically capable but Dad has proven time and time again on the farm every day on these trips away uh, that he is incredibly capable with the right support family members uh, you would you would hardly notice that they have uh, any condition and the, the instincts are still strong Dad even with Alzheimer's, he outperforms the average 50-year-old in terms of what he can do. And that's just, that's just because he's doing it every day. He's just active.